Hi, my name is Sean Alvarado and I'm a bioimaging sales specialist with Molecular Devices. Today we're going to be going over the Image Express Pico automated imaging system. Today we're going to be doing a virtual demo of the Image Express Pico. The Image Express Pico is an automated imaging system that is built to fit your needs. So the system can be configured in a number of different ways depending on what your research is, whether you're doing live cell imaging, fixed cells, suspension cells, even slides. So the system itself can be configured with temperature control up to 40 degrees Celsius, or um, you can even configure it with three gas control that allows you to do live cell imaging experiments over multiple days. The system also can be configured with objectives and filters to meet your assay needs. We have um, air objectives ranging from 4X all the way up to 63X. We also have uh, six different flora for uh, filter cubes that can be configured to exactly what you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you inside the instrument now so that you can see what the objective wheel and the filter cubes look like. So to access the inside of the instrument, it's pretty easy. You can just go ahead and pop open the door through the software and what you're going to see inside the instrument is we have an objective turret here that allows you to have four objectives in place at one time. So most customers will just put their four, 10 and 20 X objectives in there and then they've got a position for that high mag objective that can be either 40 X or 63 X. We also have a filter wheel here that you can see that allows you to put five different filter cubes in at one time. Um, and then you also have an extra position for your color metric or bright field imaging. They're easy to swap in and out. Okay. You can see this is the filter cube. The filter cube is labeled and then there's a magnetic pin on the back that allows you to easily take the filter and slide it right into the filter wheel with an easy connection. And then when you're done you simply close the door and move on to your experiment. One of the nice things about the Image Express Pico is you can configure it for your live cell imaging needs. So you can have temperature control up to 40 degrees Celsius, but also that three gas control that I talked about. So we're gonna go to the back of the instrument where I'm gonna show you inlets for CO2. There's also a port for compressed air and then a port for nitrogen that allows you to deplete oxygen levels for experiments that need a hypoxic environment. You're also gonna see a humidity column that's on the side that allows you to have your experiments at 85% humidity. One of the nice things about the Image Express Pico is that, as we said, it's a benchtop imaging system and the environmental control fits within that benchtop space. So you can see here on the outside of the instrument you've got the humidifying column. This allows you to have the humidity in the instrument at 85 percent. It also allows you to do longer time-lapse experiments by easily removing this plug and refilling the water um, when needed. So you don't have to stop your experiment, you can continue on running for multiple days at a time. In addition, on the back of the Image Express Pico, you've got these easy hookups to your existing gases. So you've got the CO2 inlet, the N2 inlet, and also the compressed air inlet that allows you to pump these gases in and then on board the Image Express Pico is a gas mixer that mixes these gases and creates the perfect environment for your live cell experiments. When you're using the live cell imaging on the Image Express Pico, the nice thing about the design is that you're able to have tightly controlled environment at the plate level. So in our environmental control cassette, this is where the mixed gases are pumped in and you're able to have a tightly controlled environment right at the plate level. When you're using the Image Express Pico, the system runs through our software called Cell Reporter Express. Cell Reporter Express was designed for users with all levels of imaging experience, whether you're just getting into automated imaging or you've been doing high content screening for years. The nice thing about the software is that you can build protocols to generate a one-click workflow that allows you to do acquisition and analysis all at the same time. Additionally, as I'm gonna show you in a minute, we've got 25 plus pre-configured protocols that allow you to simply walk up, select your application of interest, and run your plate. So when you're working in Cell Reporter Express, when you start off, you're gonna use this handy acquisition tab. This basically allows you to either access a protocol that you've already built or build a new protocol. So you can see right from the get-go, I have access to those 25 plus pre-configured protocols that have 
acquisition and analysis settings already built in for your particular assay. So whether you're doing slide acquisition or you want to do a live debt assay, these are set up and ready for you to use. What I'm going to show you now is accessing a protocol that I built previously. So all I have to do is search for the name, click on the protocol and you can see it immediately takes me to the screen where I can either adjust my settings using the top down step format or I can simply jump to run protocol. I'll give my experiment a name and run the plate. So I'm going to give an example of what this looks like now. So I've got my plate. To open up the Image Express Pico, you simply push this green button and then you're going to load your plate. The nice thing about the Pico is that you can use any multi-well plate format from 6 all the way up to 384 wells. So once your plate has been loaded and you access your protocol, you can give it a name. And then all you have to do is simply click this play button over here for run experiment and the system will start. So what we've done is really set up protocol building to be as easy as possible and once you've got your assay that you run all the time, it's as easy as just clicking a button to image your plate. So you can see here what I've got set up is this indicates how far along in the imaging process um, my plate is. And over here what you can see is an analysis. So I've put our cell count analysis module on this particular protocol. This is going to show you how many cells I have in each well. So when my experiment has succeeded, it moves to the succeeded tab and I can simply access it from here. Within Cell Reporter Express, you've got the option to dive right into your data. So if I click on this image, you can see with this mask, this basically shows all the cells that have been counted in each well. I can easily toggle this on and off. I can also zoom in to identify cells of interest and I can toggle between my wells. So Cell Reporter Express was designed to um, be able to go from plate to cellular data in a matter of clicks. So you can see here I'm looking overall at my 384 well plate and the three wells that I imaged. I can go ahead and dive into a particular well by selecting it. And what I'm going to see here is not only this particular well, but I can also go right into the data in the summary tab. So if I go ahead and click on this table, this is going to show me my highlighted well, as well as summary measurements associated with the cell count module. So you can see here I've got average area, I've got cell count, I've got different measures of intensity. And if I want to investigate this particular well further, I can go into the cellular tab here where I get a nice heat map of what's going on in my well. If I want to focus on a specific population, I can simply select that population and now I've drilled down to cell by cell measurements. One of the nice things about Cell Reporter Express is that it allows you to investigate each cell individually. So if I want to look at this cell in particular, I can go to the cell finder and find where that cell is and look at what it might be doing inside of the well. The nice thing is that any step there's a button here that allows you to export whatever data you're collecting over to Excel, and this is true for the cells, but also for the wellular data. If this is an experiment that you're running all the time, you can simply find your experiment, click on the experiment page, hop over to measurements, and this is where you can export either your object or your well measurements in one click over to Excel. In Cell Reporter Express, you can use those pre-configured protocols, you can use protocols that you've built previously, but it also gives you flexibility to um, edit protocols that you may have already built. So if I go back to that original protocol, you can see here if I go to the microscope icon, this allows you to adjust any of the settings that you might have set previously. For example, I can change the filters that are being used, I can increase the magnification if I want to go from a 10 to a 20x. I can also change my exposure time and focus depending on the application. So what's nice about Cell Reporter Express is it's designed to give you that one-click workflow but also gives you the flexibility to adjust your settings as needed on an assay-by-assay -assay basis. 
Thank you for joining us on our virtual demo of the Image Express Pico. Today we covered what the Image Express Pico can do for you and your assays, as well as how Cell Reporter Express can help you acquire and analyze your data in just a one click workflow. For more information on the Image Express Pico, please go to moleculardevices.com.